Can you hear that? But that was a tugboat going. Mm -mm. Yeah, so you can see this, this is not the RV behind me. I do not live at foster parents anymore. What? Oh, dang. Um, I don't, I don't live at foster parents anymore. How weird is that? This is, this is a new chapter for me. Um, why did I leave? Um, I have an adventure planned. <laughs> and I just needed time to prepare really. It's so weird, like, like to come home to a different place and lay your head down, and to have that, that almost like disconnection to the place is, is really sad. It's, it's been like my own sanctuary. I know it's for the birds, but it is also kind of for me. So um, this is, this is out, out in the world now, I guess, like officially, 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 maybe. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> I think so. Yes, it is, it is, it is. I'm about to do something. You know, it's really funny. Every time that I decide like, hey, I'm gonna pick up a camera and I'm gonna start vlogging and make cool videos and, and see where that takes me. As soon as I pick up the camera, things start to happen. And the first time I made three videos and then I saw someone who wanted a, an intern for vlogging. And so I throw up my fourth video as an application to that and I got accepted and I started going around the world. I got to go to Canada, Australia, India, and Burning Man off making four videos really. And then continuing to make videos from that point. And I made a lot of videos. I made a lot of videos. What it came to was I, was overwhelmed. <laughs> I, I had to put the camera down. I just was like, I felt like I accelerated up a mountain with a jetpack, and then the jetpack fuel ran out and I was at the top of this mountain, didn't know how to come down from this mountain. And I see the peak, like that peak is right there. I could climb it. I could get to the top of this, this mountain, video mountain. We'll call it video mountain. In the back of my mind, I knew that I wanted to always pick this camera back up again. It was only a matter of time. And once I finally mustered that courage back up, I invested a lot of stuff and said, there's no going back this time. And that was noticed right away again. 
and I have some of my best friends who started a business doing content creation. They want to take me on now and I'm one of their newest employees and I'm moving to Austin, Texas for a few months for like a training ground, a collaboration thing that we're going to like just boost all of our experience up together and create this business that has a really solid systematic workflow that is that is just going to be awesome. I haven't even been doing this for a year, but it's taking me somewhere. And I think that's so important, especially when you find a gift like that, that you have, that you, you, you roll with that, you go with that, and you believe in yourself in that. A big part of this trip is like, you know, I was offered video things here in Rhode Island too. I could have stayed at the bird sanctuary and um, figured it figured it out from here. I have some of my own clients right now, and like, I I could have stayed and done it a little safer, saved up money, <laughs> paid off my debts, I done the more logical way to do this, and it would have worked. It would it would be amazing and great. But the collaboration, being around your friends, being a part of something that is all video work. I'm so lucky and I'm, I'm so grateful. Here I go off on a whirlwind adventure, <laughs> national wind adventure, and uh, it's gonna be awesome. <laughs> so stay tuned.